Hey guys, it's Nerdo Live. That's right, guys, back for another show. What we have here today is another Funko Pop unboxing review, which we'll be doing today is the Batman, the 80 Years of Batman. This is Batman the Dawnbreaker, a Hot Topic exclusive. All right, guys, let's check the box first. Just from the look of it, it's an awesome box. It's a new Funko box uh, art, I guess is what you would call it. A new type. Um, this is because uh, Batman is 80 years. So they, they're doing like a lot of the Batmans that are coming out. The Batman Pops, they have this uh, black uh, Funko box uh, going on, uh, which is cool. I love it. Uh, here's the front view of the figure. You can see uh, Batman Dawnbreaker right here it looks nice it has like the gold um lettering and all that stuff that looks cool i wonder if the other ones are in gold letters too uh this is the first one that i've gotten um i saw from what was that uh the london toy fair so uh they're they're uh having a lot of batmans coming out so yeah so uh look at the back right here in the side view all right let's open it up see what's inside okay you know i've been noticing they have this in the box this lettering here it says here i don't know if it's a way to see if it's like uh it's legit or not but here three six three four nine pkg batman 80 dawnbreaker pop i wonder what that is for um in the comments down below guys let me know what that is not really sure all right, so this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Oh my goodness, Funko is back to that type of packaging again without the that plastic holds. So basically, it's got to be careful, guys, because when you open it, the pop can just fall off. I can't believe they would do that in this, you know, it's supposed to be a commemorative type of 80 years Batman, and then they would do that, going back to that plastic thing again. Uh Oh well, all right, let's see. So there's the figure, awesome. Look at that, awesome pop. Oh, <laughs> there you go, let's take a closer look. There you go, all right. So uh, what happened here is uh, the Dawnbreaker Batman, um, I think this met, ties into the Dark Metal tie-in, I think what it's called. Um, so this is uh, the Batman got uh, I think it was Earth 32. He was able to get the Green Lantern ring, and this is what happens. I think he's like a bad guy, like he starts killing people. So um, not so much. I haven't read it yet, but uh, I've read it like a synopsis. One of the books that I want to read too, which is, you know, cool. Um, as for the pop, looks kind of weird. It's kind of like a Black Manta. Black Manta. Uh, Aquaman's enemy, <laughs> you know, with this thing going on here. I don't know why whoever drew this Batman, you know, they added that. It's kind of weird. It's, I mean, it makes him look like a space Batman. Um, so the head, you see, I mean, the whole Green Lantern motif. He has the green and then Batman they put together. Um, so it's black. So uh, here in the middle, you could see his. A Batman with a Green Lantern sign, but um, I'm not sure because it's yellow. Uh, it's yellow here instead of green, so maybe that's that's a thing that's going on in the story. Um, maybe because it's bad, he turned to like a what was that when the yellow lantern ring? So I guess it's like the green yellow type. I don't know. I'm just making conjectures, <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna read it and I might do a review on it. So. Um, uh, so, so far the head, I'm not really liking this, uh, what is this, like, uh, the mask, the cover mask for Batman, it's kind of weird looking, you know, like I said, like, it was the Black Manta going on, um, I still love the, that they kept, you know, the bat, you know, motif going on with his head, but this green, what is this, glasses? I mean, the thing that Naruto wears, goggles, the green goggles, you know, it, it makes it look weird. Uh, 
not really awesome. Um, yeah, and like I said, these tubes here are so weird. Um, overall, the gear, the Dawnbreaker gear, not really a fan, but I mean, they did really put it as, you know, from from the comic book, you know, he looks exactly like the comic book, so I guess that is what it is. They put a lot of details, you know, the little marks here in the armor, you know. Um, but the only thing that I would have suggested with this pop is that they should have made it like glow in the dark, like the green. Because, you know, it's Green Lantern, it can glow green. Or maybe the ring. Nah, not, not green. That would be like, it's like just that for a glow in the dark. I would have wanted them to do the whole pop, the green pop area to be green. Because, you know... Uh, black Batman and then with the glow in the dark green that would look really awesome you know because it's Green Lantern um, so overall I mean the pop is okay you can't move the head because of this um, tentacles go <laughs> tentacles like whatever this thing is you know um, the painting is good you know the black and green it really represents the character you know if you I look at the pictures of how Dawnbreaker Batman looks. It's really, it really is what it looks like. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's an, um, I have to read the comic book, really. Um, but it's cool that they did this. Um, I was hoping since um, it would have been an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, like a glow-in-the-dark version of this, you know, that... I would have been really excited, but I do hope in the future that they'll do that. Um, it's an okay pop, you know. Get it if you like, you know, you're a DC Batman fan. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's it, guys, for this review. It's an okay pop for me, you know. It's just the design of this character. I'm not really a fan, you know. Uh, in the comic book, I mean, it really represents the comic book as it is, so... So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for the review. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this, please smash that like button guys. And also I do have a Patreon page and your love and support is always appreciated guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next unboxing video. Bye bye.